Okay, Boss Dog here from Boss Dog Coin Rings. And today, we're going to make a size 15 copper round coin ring. Size 15. We're going to make it out. Of, we're going to use this copper round. Vietnam Veterans. 1965 to 1975. That is really a nice... That is really... A nice looking coin. Vietnam veterans, 1965 to 1975 on the, it's got a picture of Vietnam on it with a helicopter. Copper, 0.999% fine. One ounce of pure copper. We're gonna put the helicopter, Vietnam veterans, 1965, 1975 on the outside. We're gonna put a, a patine on it. It's kind of hard to put a patina on copper, but there are ways to do it. It's a, it's a little bit harder than putting an antique finish on silver, but we're going to put an antique finish on this so it makes it makes all the letters pop. It's going to look really, really nice. So anyway, we're going to use some different methods when we make this because it's a size 15. We're probably not going to have to run it through a Swedish wrap. Use a Swedish wrap to take a... Uh, make a a smaller ring size out of a, a larger ring. Take a larger ring size and make a smaller ring size out. But this is going to be a five, a fifteen, a size fifteen. So we're not going to have to use a Swedish wrap, I do not believe. But anyway, you'll see some different methods. We're going to use a mega stretcher, and this is really a lot harder than regular copper coins because it, it has, it's pure copper. It's not like copper coins. We have a couple different zinc and stuff like that in the coin, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. We're going to we're going to have to stretch this out. We're going to have to stretch this out to like a a size 17 or 18 to size it down. But anyway, let's get started. I'm going to cut a hole in this. You've already seen I'm going to I'm going to cut a larger hole in this also. This is a lot of weight to be carrying on your finger. So we're going to cut a little larger hole in it. It's going to make it easier to stretch. I'm going to put a 5 8 inch hole in here. Just a an eighth of an inch larger than a half, uh, a half inch. So we're going to put a five eighths inch hole in here. And so let's get started. And I'll bring you in after I punch the hole in it. And uh, we'll, we'll start from there. So here we go. Okay, boss dog here. And okay, we got the, got a hole cut in. I cut a a 5 8 inch hole I made the initial fold here after I cut the hole in I I used a deburring tool and I deburred the inside of it out a little bit and smoothed it out with some sandpaper so I would avoid any chance of any splits here so I've got the initial fold started here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a reducing die here and I'm going to fold it right down put it in a reducing die and I'm going to fold it right down into the shape of a ring and uh I'm going to fold it down until the sides are right up against the folding cone here. And once it's up against the folding cone, I'll bring you back in and show you. But I'll show you that. I'll show you what, what it's going to look like. We're going to do a little bit of it right now here. I'm going to use a. little stand here because I don't want to put it in there like this. We're going to basically just fold it right down. And unlike silver, you don't have to worry about this splitting as much because it is made out of copper. But you still don't want to you still don't want to fold it all the way down without annealing it first. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of fold there. Make sure it's straight. You got to keep it straight. You don't want to start it off wrong. You want to keep it straight in the die. Keep it straight in there. Fold it right down. Vietnam veteran coin ring. You can feel it starting to get a little bit work hardened. It's starting to get a little bit work hardened now, so stop right there. And I'm going to go anneal it again. So now you see it starting to shape into a ring a little bit. I'm going to anneal it. I'm going to come back and I'm going to keep folding it. 
and I'm gonna fold it down until I get it folded right up against that cone, and then I'll bring you back in, and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, show you where we're at here. We're folding it right down. Look at that, it's getting a nice fold in it. Now, every time I anneal, I always check for cracks. You don't, you're, I can't stress the importance of annealing. You can't anneal too much. You keep annealing it, make sure this stays soft and pliable. It's easy to work with. You look around the edge for any cracks. If I see anything that looks like a crack, I'm gonna sand it down a little bit. I'm gonna make sure, even if it looks like a little piece of dust, I don't want one little crack in this. If I see anything that looks like a crack at all, I'm sanding it. You can either lay it on a flat surface and sand it like this here, like I'm doing here, or you go right inside there with some sandpaper. Now I'm using 400 grit here. I use 400 grit to get all the cracks out of the ring. And if, it, if, the, ring is, if the cracks are real deep, then you go down to 220 grit and really get in there and get those cracks out there. The thing is do is get all them cracks out. You don't want to take a chance of splitting it, okay? So now, it looks real nice. No cracks, nothing in there, not, nothing out of the irregular. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it right on down. I'm gonna fold it right up against this cone now. So put it back in here. Once again, make sure it's straight. You, want, you don't wanna start out bad. You wanna start out with a nice cylind cylindrical ring to start with. So take your time. I take my time with all my rings. I don't care if it's a quarter or a, or, a, or a gold piece. I take my time, just the same amount of time and make sure everything is perfect, okay? So we're gonna fold it right on down. We're gonna fold it right on down and up against the cone this time. So we're gonna push it right on down. So it goes right up against that cone. Okay, now, that's it. Now I folded it right up against that cone. So the next step here after, after that is we're gonna take it to the stretcher. We're gonna take it to the stretcher. Let's see, I'll move this over here. And we're gonna, we're gonna put it on the stretcher and we're gonna stretch it out till it reaches the bottom of the stretcher here. We're gonna stretch it out until, I'm gonna, until it reaches the very bottom of the stretcher and won't go any further. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go anneal it again. You, you gotta keep annealing it, no cracks. Perfect looking ring so far. We don't wanna mess it up now. I'm gonna go anneal it. Come back, stretch it out till it gets to the bottom of the stretcher there, and I'll bring you back in and show you what we have. Okay, so we've got it all. We got it anneal, make sure nothing's splitting in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the stretcher here, but I wanna protect the detail on the inside. I don't wanna lose the detail, so I'm gonna put a little, a little of this over here. I'm gonna put this ring on this like this here and pull, push this down right here so it's protected and we're gonna Stretch it, we're gonna stretch it out all the way to the bottom here. So here we go, we're gonna stretch it out. Turning it, every time we do that, we're gonna turn it a quarter of an inch. Stretch it out. Okay, we've reached the bottom. We've reached the bottom of the stretcher. It won't, it won't stretch out any further with the ring stretcher. So, let's see what size we have here. Look, we're looking for a size 15. So right now we're sitting at a size 15 and a half. We want to get to at least, we want to go to at least an 18. So we're going to use what they call the mega stretcher. This is the mega stretcher here. This goes on the stretcher. It makes for, now instead of sitting at the bottom, it's sitting at the top. So we're going to put it on there and we're going to stretch it out. Just do it like this here. The way you do it is put your ring on here like this here, put it down here like this here, and then put it on. Now, as you stretch, as you stretch, you see we have a little gap down here. 
I'm going to stretch that until this here goes to the bottom. So I'm going to stretch it, and as, the, as I'm stretching it, I'm going to pull down on it until it reaches the bottom of the stretches. So here we go. I'll stretch it. Turn it. Turn it. Get and work hardened. Mega stretch it. Okay, now it's reached the bottom down here, so we're going to take it off. See where we stand now. This, this mandrel only goes up to a 16. Down here is a 17, so I'm going to stretch it down. Okay, now we stretch it down to a size 16. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go re-anneal it. I'm going to re-anneal it. We're at size 16. I want to get it to a size 18. A size 18. So we're going to keep going here. We're going to keep on going. And then we're going to, I'm going to go anneal it. And I'll bring you back here and we'll start again. Okay, I've just re-annealed it. I re-annealed it. And I've checked for splits, cracks, no cracks. Nothing like that. Okay, we're going to try to stretch this out again. Put it on here. We're going to go down a little bit further on the stretcher, on the mega stretch. We're going to get down a little bit deeper here. And away we go. We're going, to, we're going to try to get this to a size 18. Okay. You want to take your time. You can't anneal too much. Pretty, pretty soon it's going to be like, I'll be able to get it on my wrist. But look at, look at that. Let's see here. Okay, and now it slides all the way down. So we're size eight. I'm gonna keep stretching it a little bit. I'm gonna to try to get some of that bow out of here. We're gonna do it one more time on the stretcher. And then it looks like we might put it through the Swedish wrap a little bit just to try to get rid of some of that bow. So I'm gonna stretch it out just a little bit more on the mega stretcher. And then it looks like we might have to go to the Swedish wrap a little bit because I wanna get some of that bow out of it before I start reducing it to size. So. Let's, uh, one more time on the mega stretcher, and then we'll put it through the Swedish wrap. Okay, I got it back on the mega stretcher again. We're going to try to stretch it down to here, and then we're going to put it through the Swedish wrap. So here we go. Okay. That's plenty. That's probably sized to like a 18 or 19. So what we're going to do now, we're going to set it up for the Swedish wrap and I'll bring you back in. Okay, we're going to put this through the Swedish wrap here. I thought maybe I was going to be able to get away from that, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to take that bow out. See that bow? I don't want a bow in there. It's going to make that, I'm going to run it through the Swedish wrap and take that bow out so I get a nice cylindrical ring and then I'm going to put it in a reducing die, and we're going to size it to fit, okay? So right now we're going to take care and look and see which one of these. We're, this one here looks like we're going to use that one there, that plunger there to start with. We're going to use this Swedish wrap to start with. I'm going to use this mega tape. I, use it, I don't use that. that uh, I, use for, I use this for quarters, but for silver and these larger rings, I want to keep the detail. I use... Uh, Pipe thread, blue monster pipe thread tape. So this is what we're gonna do this. We're gonna wrap this around here. We're gonna make sure we wrap it so we keep all that detail. Keep all that detail. I'm wrapping it around the reeded edge. I'm gonna do this like seven times. There's a lot of pressure going down in there. So I'm gonna do this like seven times. Wrap it around, take your time. Not in a hurry here. I don't wanna lose any of that detail. That should be good enough right there. I'm going to run it down through here first. Make sure it's in there nice and straight. Now. Let's see here. That bat, hold on a second here. Let's see here.
Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that in here. Make sure it's in there nice and straight. Even. Start pushing it down and smear it around. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Pushing, pushing, Swedish wrap, pushing down as you can see. Pushing it down in there. We're gonna to try to take the bow out of that. We're try to take the bow out of there. As you're pushing it down your Swedish wrap, you wanna look, you see, you see the detail coming through that says Vietnam veterans. You can start to see the date coming through there. Okay, we can probably push it a little bit, a little bit down there, just a little bit more without worrying about the de hurting the detail on there. Let's see if we're still a long way to go. What we're now see, we're, we're taking the bow out a little bit. See the bows coming out of it? This is exactly what we're wanting to do. See there? How nice that's looking. Oh my God, this is going to be a nice ring. See there? The bow's coming out of there. The detail is coming through. We don't want to ruin that detail. So I'm going to put a couple, a couple more twists of the blue monster on here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, this is going to be really nice. Work. This is working out just fine. Okay. Couple more. Couple more turns on here. Okay. There we go. Stick it back down in there a little bit now. I'm going to turn the plunger over. Make sure it's in there straight. Okay. Looks like it's in there straight. Okay. Push it right on down in there. Okay, this is good. Now we're going to turn this over here. Keep it right in the middle there. We reached the end of that plunger, so we'll turn it over and go to another plunger. Keep it in the middle. Try to keep it in the middle. Keep it right in the center of that ring. Press it down. You don't want to start sideways. Keep it going. Pressing it. Pressing it. Pressing it. Pressing it. Pressing it. Turn it a little bit. Pressing it, pressing it, pressing it. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, you like it. See the details not coming through there. Look at that. See that bow is almost complete. When you when you get it to a point where all the detail is perfect there, you can see the detail perfect. It's all it's still coming through. That lets you know that. That lets you know that the bow is out. See, that bow is all gone now. There's not going to be a bow in this ring. Look how nice that is. No bow. Let's see where we stand here. We're looking for a size 15. And right now, we're at a size... A size 15 or a size 15 and a half. So what we're going to do now is... There's a lot of buildup right in here, a lot, a lot of copper right here. I'm going to take a deburring tool. I'm going to take a deburring tool, and I'm going to get in here with the deburring tool, and I'm going to go around here. I'm going to take out that whole lip. There's a big lip there with a big ridge. It's probably maybe two sizes, two, two and a half sizes hanging over there. I'm gonna take this deburring tool, I'm gonna to take that entire lip out of there and make for a nice, comfortable, smooth fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. Take that bur bur that take that out of there, nice down there. I'm gonna I'm gonna sand it down. I'm gonna shape it, get, get it ready to shape, and then I'm gonna bring it back, bring you back in, and we're gonna reduce it to size. Right now I'm gonna shape it, I'm gonna clean that out, then I'm gonna bring you back and we're gonna reduce it to size, to the size 15. And then from there on, 
I'll show you the process of where we really make it look nice, where we sand down everything, sand down this here. I'm gonna show you how I polish it up, how I put the antique finish on it. It's really gonna be a beautiful ring. So I'll bring you back in when I have all that done and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. I polished up the inside, made a nice, smooth, comfortable fit here. Nineteen sixty five to nineteen seventy five. Vietnam veteran polished up the cut edge. You can read the inside of it. Looks really nice. I'm going to put an antique finish on it. Put a little antique finish on it. Put a little dark finish on it here so you can actually read. Read what it says there in Vietnam, but that's looking beautiful. It's all polished up real nice. It came out real, real nice. So anyway, I'll go ahead and polish that up, put an antique finish on it, and I'll bring it back in and show you the final product. Okay, here we go. There's the final, final product here. Final product. Vietnam veteran. Veterans. 1965 to 1975. All right, how do you like that? That's a nice ring there. All right, ready to go. Polish it up a little bit, package it, and away it goes. I hope you like this video. Take a look at my Etsy shop in the link below. See something there you like, see something there you want, see something, if you don't see what you like, message me, tell me what you like, I'll see if I can find it. This is Boss Dog Coin Rings here today. I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.